Just you know why. Good morning, YouTube. Happy Tuesday. Never mind, today's Wednesday. I, uh, I've already started my day like a couple hours ago. I went to work at like eight. I want to talk to you guys real quick about a trip I'm going on this weekend. California. So obviously California is an awesome place to go. I wish I went there more often, but I'm going this time for a very specific reason. All right, let me explain. Let's see here, you got your, uh, your basic United States uh, curves in Texas, Florida, New York and stuff, Michigan, yep. United States. So right here, is a place called Ocean. Then over here, you have a place called, and uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a race called the Race Across America, which is a bike race that goes from Oceanside all the way. I'm not gonna be in the race per se. I'm gonna be a part of the crew for someone that is in the race as like the media film guy. So the trip though isn't this weekend, it's in three weekends from now. This weekend is like the practice run where we go do the first 500 miles and see how it goes. Most of you already know from the other vlogs, but if you don't know, I work at this data analytics computer. So I'm probably just gonna fast forward through the whole work day. Here we go. <sighs> Lunch time. <sighs> Work's over, and yes, I, uh, I did get a haircut. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> now, while I was at work, I did a lot of reflecting, a lot of thinking right in here. Now, if you're not really into the whole motivational speech thing, maybe skip ahead. In fact, skip ahead to right here, and I think that'll be more fun for you. But if you need a motivational pickup right now, definitely keep watching. So when I was at work today, I went on like a YouTube binge and I just watched a ton of vloggers and all of their vlogs. And then I started to think, man, how would I ever compete with them? Their vlogs are funny, they're exciting, they're entertaining to watch, and like they have so many more resources and time than I do. How could I ever make anything that like even competes on their level? I I can't, there's no way. And then I started thinking maybe I shouldn't maybe I shouldn't do the vlog. Maybe it's kind of a waste of time. And then that kind of like made me get really like sad and depressed. And I was like, man, I had such a good thing going and I mean, it was not, it was definitely not fun. And then I thought even more. I started comparing my 96 subscribers to their 4.9 million subscribers and my 1,000 views to their 10 million trillion views and I just, I started feeling really bad for myself. I felt like I wanted to stop completely, just to give up, to throw in the towel and say, I, I gave it my best, I tried, but there's, there's no way for me to be that successful like they are. I wanted to stop filming. But then I realized something absolutely crucial. What I was feeling, the thoughts I was having, that's a disease. And that disease is called doubt. Let me spell it out for you. D-O-U-B-T, doubt. And don't for one second think that it's not a disease. And then I started asking myself, why does someone else's success give me doubt about mine? That shouldn't be right. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what everyone else is doing. All that matters is what you're doing and how you feel about it. I wanted to mention this to you guys, even though there's only 96 of you, and I don't know how many of you are actually gonna watch this, but maybe if I get my message out to one person, it's worth it. But I just know that whoever you are, if you're watching this, and you're, you're trying to follow your passions, and you see other people succeed, and you have doubt about yourself, here's my message to you. Take doubt 
take all the doubt that you have and crush it. Destroy that doubt. In fact, throw it against the wall and get rid of it because it shouldn't exist in your life. What you need to do is replace doubt with your confidence, courage, and determination. Replace it with your passion. Check this out. I wrote this down the day I started my vlogs. Always be filming. And it's a reminder to me to never give up, to, to never let doubt enter your mind, and that if you just keep going, you will succeed. Now whatever it is that you're doing, that you're doubting, stop it. You got this, you know you got this, and don't let the other people in your life that are doing what you wanna do, and they're doing it better, or they're doing it greater, don't let that make you feel any less about yourself. In fact, when you see these people and they're doing great, give them like a, like a mental like, what's up? Like, nice work, like a little salute, or down. Is it up? Maybe it's down. Give them an up one, I think that works better. They're different, they're on their own timeline, on their own path, just give them like a mental like, like a mental nod, like, nice work, I'm here too, I'm doing my thing, watch out, kind of thing, you know what I mean? I really hope this message resonates with someone. It's, it's, it's a serious thing. Doubt is a horrible, horrible disease, and it's, it's gonna stop you from reaching wherever you wanna go. Don't let your dreams be dreams, and struggle and criticism are the prerequisites for greatness. Let that sink in. All right, now that I got that off my chest, I think it's time to turn up the vibes and have some happy thoughts. Third question, baby, that's in Bellevue. This is Wilman. How am I out here today? Hey, do you guys sell fidget spinners? Uh, we did, but we were sold out this weekend. Hey, do you guys sell fidget spinners? Uh, I am for sale all out. I am supposedly going to... What is this? This is like when Elmo came out. Hey, do you, I, do you guys sell fidget spinners? Yes, we do. No, wait, and you have them in stock? Yes. So it looks like I'm gonna head out to 7-Eleven right now to get a fidget spinner. I never thought I'd say that. I'll be right back. Don't move. <laughs> they were sold out. Say! <laughs> I don't even know why I'm so excited. It's just the hype is so real, you know? Alright, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Oh! That's it. That's all it does? This is. What? You just spin it? Maybe I can spin it without touching it. No, you gotta. You gotta do it. These don't, the outer ones are decoys. Because why would you need those? If the red ones any different. God, do you hate that when you open a package and you still have to open the pack? It's like, ugh. Oh, it makes a cool noise. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? What if I use them together to spin each It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, that was lame. Now, I don't, uh, I don't actually fidget. Well, every, everyone fidgets. Fidgets? Fid, fidgets. How do you say that word? Fidgetises. Fidgets. It's fidgets. It's the same word. Everyone fidgets, um, but I just don't do it a lot, and I feel like this would make me fidget more. I feel like this doesn't solve the problem. It just adds to it. I'm a slippery snack. I'm a slippery, fidgety, spinning snack. That's, if you don't know what that is, that'd probably sound strange. All right, well, uh, let's see what else these can do. That's pretty lame. <laughs> it puts out fires. What? Why is the fire department not looking into this? Pretty much, they just all make different fart noises. When Whoa. Guys, I'm on a whole nother level right now. <laughs> oh. Switching hands, switching hands. Ooh. Double switch. 
Now that I'm pretty experienced with the fidget spinner, I feel like I can give a pretty in-depth review. Um, it's strong points, it definitely spins. Uh, low points, um, it doesn't really do anything else. I would definitely encourage you to go get one of these. I mean, just to say that you have one or that you can spin one because if you miss out on knowing what this is like, I would say... Whoa. Well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the motivational vlog today. Um, just, I feel like sometimes you just gotta say what's on your mind, you know? And yeah, alright, see you tomorrow.